What's going on ladies and gentlemen? I hope you're having a good day and I most certainly hope you're having a great week on purpose. Hey guys, let me ask you a quick question. Do you think everything is hate? And how do you determine what is pure hate versus somebody just having an opinion or inquiring about something? I want to know because I really don't know if some people just wake up and they feel like if I hate this person, it'll give me a better life or my life is better if I hate this person. Is that the same thing? Anyway, like I said, there's no hate that's going to go unturned or uncovered this year. Everybody's going to get it. I feel like it was so ridiculous. I didn't even want to do a video about it, but I said, what the heck not? Let's do it. I'm going to give you that right after Shador tells you who we all around here. Hey, Shador, let them know who we are. BWB. Bandwagon wagon bus, that's right. It's your man, it's Harry Belgian. Please do me a favor and smash that subscribe button. Make sure to give me the thumbs up and don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you can get the videos as soon as it uploads to YouTube. All right, family, so I gotta go ahead and get into this video real quick. So that's all the business I got. You know what time it is. Let's work. All right, guys, so welcome back and thank you for coming back. That's right, we are bandwagon buffs around here. We're BWB. Don't let nobody shame you on social media because we have made it socially okay for you to be a bandwagon buff if you just got here and you are a new colorado fan don't worry about it can't nobody shame you because we are a big community of buff fans who just got here because of coach prime and we call ourselves bandwagon buffs we're so proud of being a bandwagon buff that you can actually get your bandwagon buff gear right here on this youtube channel guys you can rock your bandwagon buff gear because you don't care <laughs> okay but anyways let's go ahead and cover this information let's go it goes dion didn't write it. Coach Prime accused of fabricating New York Times best-selling book authorship. This is a weird one, but let's get into it. EssentiallySports.com is where I'm getting this one from. Mr. Jennifer is writing this one. Let's go. Deion Sanders' time in Boulder has been quite rocky. He's faced criticism for everything from forcing players to attend his son's concert to a perceived lack of connection with his players. Now, a new and bizarre controversy has emerged. Sanders' March memoir, elevated and dominate 21 ways to win on and off the field is under fire. The March edition book even became the New York Times bestseller within a short span. Now, after months, sports journalist Jason Whitlock alleges Sanders had minimal involvement in writing his bestseller. Does anybody know Jason Whitlock personally? What mission is this guy on? Like, what is the personal vendetta? You know what? We'll cover that in a second. On his fearless podcast, Whitlock stated Dion is completely different disconnected from whomever wrote the book. The book was co-authored by Don Yeager, but Whitlock claims Sanders contributed nothing. Whitlock used Sanders' inability to answer questions directly related to the book's content as evidence. He stated Joe, in an interview, would ask him questions straight from the book. Dion would answer in a way that's completely disconnected from the book because Dion didn't write it. Someone wrote it about him. I gotta take a big sigh on this one. <sighs> Come on, Jason Whitlock. Come on, bro. Like, you got to do better, bro. I'm telling you, man. Like, you got to do better, bro. Like, your life has got to be better, homie. You got to really, like, wake up one day and just say, you know what? This is ridiculous. Like, I got to do better for myself. Whitlock further claims this is a gimmick used to create a certain image for athletes and celebrities. He has leveled similar accusations as Stephen A. Smith and Barack Obama's memoirs. But despite denials, Whitlock maintains his stance claiming it's a system built where we write a book that will provide you the substance and paint you in one light and you just go out and pretend to be that person he concludes that Dion can't even pull off the pretending however the buffalo's head coach stays silent on ghost writing claims but spills the beans on his writing goals let's first just put this out there most celebrities and people who are not actual authors they don't write the books it could be barack obama it could be anybody of prominence they don't usually write the books themselves <laughs> okay they're not writers usually they will get a writer and then the writer will actually ask questions will have several interviews gather all the information that they need to gather and then they will write the book based off the information that was gathered in the interviews that's how these things usually come about to actually say that coach prime had no involvement in the book it's like you don't understand how coach prime moves or how he talks we all know how coach prime 
moves and how Coach Prime talks. Coach Prime actually has a little black book of sayings, a book that has quotes and he gives you catchphrases. This is how Coach Prime moves. But yeah, Coach Prime talks in sound bites. He has a book of sound bites. We all know this. He's an entertainer. You know what they tell us? They say, when you go watch a movie, right, you got to suspend all disbelief when you go watch a movie. You cannot go into a movie with preconceived notions or you already made up your mind how you think the movie is going to be. Just take it all in. Everything you're thinking about, just set all that aside and just allow the movie to give you that experience as opposed to you having some type of preconceived notion that is going to determine the movie for you. That is not how you enjoy a movie. What it seems like Jason Whitlock was actually doing is his mind is already made up about Coach Prime. He's listening very keenly to see if Coach Prime is going to lie or if Coach Prime is going to say something weird for him. He's looking for something bad. How can you live your life like that? At least suspend all biases, suspend everything and just wait and see. Let this interview actually influence you as opposed to your mind already being made up and you're not going to be able to receive anything from that interview. Coach Prime is friends with Joe Klatt, has had conversations with Joe Klatt. They've talked about the book already. Joe Klatt made it very clear in the interview that they were just going to have a conversation. So Coach Prime is treating this interview just like a conversation with a friend. So he didn't feel like he was on some type of hot seat trying to answer questions and everything he said he was going to be held up to the fire. It's not that kind of interview, Jason Whitlock. He's not on no judgment seat. He's not in a courtroom. He's not in the court of law. One thing I want to say is how sad of an existence this is. And it almost makes me want to search my life to see who do I really hate and do I go out of my way to either say something disparaging? Do I just sit there and I can't wait for them to stumble on something? If my life ever gets to that point, I really want to evaluate it and really want to change that because this is a sad existence. You have sponsorship. You don't necessarily have to do Deion Sanders content. You got people who are paying you to do what you do. So you can actually pick topics that are interesting to you. There are so many other topics that he can actually talk about and he doesn't necessarily need Coach Prime like some of us smaller YouTube channels. He can just talk about sports in general. The Olympics is coming up. Shakari Richardson, she just did some wonderful things. Kaylin Clark is doing some wonderful things. Andrew Reese is doing some wonderful things. There's so many sports stories that are out there right now. It don't make no sense. Yo, it's getting really sad out here for a lot of these detractors. A lot of these cold-blooded haters. Do not find yourself with the sad existence of a Jason Whitlock, okay? If you do, reevaluate your life and do something different. I'm going to leave it right there and I'll see you. Get it? See you on the next video. Oh!